This is Today in Nashville, a celebration of the people, places, and things that make Music City a great place to live. Now your hosts, Kelly Sutton and Carol Sullivan. Good morning, everybody. Happiest Thursday to all of you. We are so glad you're here. Got a great show for you. Live yes. music from Americana artist Erin O'Dowd. She's got a debut album out. Hi, Part of a really cool show happening this weekend. We've got details on it coming up. And get ready, because in just a few minutes, a live performance from the Bethlehem Bluegrass Band. Now, these guys are going to be at tomorrow night's Bethlehem Fish Fry. For those of us I in the grassland it. area, this is a big deal. It is a very popular event in Franklin. We've got all the details they're going to perform for us coming up. I love fish fries. This is, it is like it's been going on for a number of years. I live in grassland, so I see the yard signs coming up and people like circle it on the calendar. You got it. You got it down. You so know. So good. It's a big deal. You know, pretty great day today because we've got Goo Goo here. It's Goo Goo Day. We are so pumped. We are making our own Goo Goo Clusters in the Super Home Surplus Kitchen. Yes, it's all part of the chef series that Goo Goo is doing with amazing Nashville chefs. And we're going to talk to, about how you can make your own Goo Goo and create your own. Those Goo Goo's have their downtown our name location. on it. They made the, we circled ingredients and they made them for us and then we're going to recreate it today. <laughs> the Kelly and the Carol. I'm not sure how well that's going to go. I'm so <laughs> impressed. I was like, I have a Goo Goo with my name on <laughs> it. You go in places. I'm you, really you know going what? Places. Never give up on your dreams. <laughs> right. It can happen. Summer cocktail time for your Thursday. Trade mm -hmm. Room is the beautiful bar that's located inside the Noel Hotel. We are making a punch that features a Spanish brandy. God, look at those ingredients. I feel Ooh. very fancy right now. I don't love wow. that. Spanish brandy. Okay. That's a treat. Mm -hmm. Fun. Summer vacation winding down. If you haven't taken the kids to Dollywood, now is the time, folks. It's Dollywood summer celebration going on until the beginning of August. Plenty of time to get in on the fun. We're going to talk about all the different things that are going on there. And also, I love how it stays open much later. Oh, the extended mm -hmm. hours. Extended hours. Yes. <laughs> love that. You know, we got to go out on the town last night, which never happens together. Yeah. This, I was, this was It was a bonding fun. moment. It was Turns so out fun. we like each other here and yeah. anywhere we go. And she's better at pool than I am. She kicked my butt. I don't know. It's, yeah. Uh, we, it took us a long time to finish playing one, one game, game of billiards. Of I mean, a real long time. Good was, thing there was no line. No, it's a long anyway, time. Anyway, yeah. big shout out and thanks to the Grand Hotel, the Sheraton Grand. They invited us for a really, really fun night. Look at all the plates they had served Beautiful, up. beautiful presentation. This was one of the desserts. It was pretty tasty. <laughs> there we are, up, up. You know else is tasty? The, the little drinks. That now, we had. I love this. Isn't view. that this cool? Is, this is when you walk in, yeah. just inside the lobby, when you look up, this is the beauty that you see. It went under a huge renovation. $38 million worth of renovation happening. And at the very top, Sky is the name of the club that's at the very top. And it's um, being rented out for different parties. 360 degree view of downtown Nashville really all incredible. the way around. It was incredible. So yeah, thank Beautiful. you to our yeah. friends there. They did, they really, they gave themselves a facelift. It was pretty fantastic. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. So anyway, the grand, let's call it the grand. The grand. The Sheraton Grand. It was grand. The SB Awards were held last night and they touched on more than just sports. Really powerful yeah. award show last night. Several of the honorees played a big part in the big headlines of the year. The coach of the year was split between the three coaches that were killed in the high school shooting in Florida. They died trying to protect the students from the gunmen, so they had family members up there on stage. And more than 100 women who were sexually abused by Larry Nassar, he was the former team doctor for USA Gymnastics, they were all there. They received the Arthur Ashe Award for Courage. They were all on stage. All on stage. 160 Isn't women that on stage. And the image was just so powerful. Right. Unbelievable. I, usually the ESPYs, it's super fun and, you know, they're handing out awards. Right. But last night they really took the time to make a statement. And they did. And congrats to them for doing they that. They did. I thought the great message was you're not alone. Yeah. You know, th you might feel that way and you might have that pain, but um, others are with them. That was so, a beautiful yeah, was presentation. Cool. Okay, fans who went to see Billy Joel's 100th show at Madison that? Square Garden. 100 shows, Madison Square like MBD, right? <laughs> so he's playing his 100th show, and then boom, who jumps up on stage? The boss. I 
I mean, that's pretty amazing, right? right? All right, clearly they didn't let us plug in to get the audio. Yeah, <laughs> just getting I mean, it off someone's phone. But somebody's phone. that's so cool. I mean, what? Oh, they did 10th Avenue freeze out. So much fun. Fans were going wild. It's Incredible. Great. It's interesting because I heard this really. Uh, it was kind of a divergent on if you were a Billy Joel fan, then you probably weren't a Bruce Springsteen fan. Like you had to choose if you lived in that area. I was gonna, uh, if you were in New Jersey or New York, oh, you got to pick your person. You had to pick your person. It's like a team, you know. Like who are you rooting for? Right. And well, because he's Jersey. Isn't that funny and that they jump Billy on Joel's stage. Long Island. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like, are you Team Joel? Are you Team Springsteen? And then. They, and now so much time has passed, you just nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. It's really good. All right. Congrats to Billy Joel. I love that. If you've ever dreamed of flying like Iron Man, guess what? Dreams do come true. Look at this. A former British commodities trainer invented a jet suit. Guys, you can buy this. You can purchase it today. What traffic? Right. Look at that. As he's whizzing down a London street, that's the inventor Robert Browning, showing it off. It is made of five miniature jet engines mounted to the arms and back, weighs about 59 pounds. You can go 32 miles an hour. That's, that's awesome. Really, I mean, that's real fast. That's awesome. What? And up to 12,000 feet. What? I, I don't know if I would want to test that Is that, that out. true? 12,000 feet? I don't know if that's Maybe true. Maybe 1,200 feet, but 12,000? I don't know. Who would want to do that? That's, I don't know. I might. That's kind of fantastic right there. Tony Stark on line one calling for two of those. <laughs> Kelly. You know what? The great thing is, I mean, everything that you see with Iron Man that's all CGI, well, maybe now they'll go buy one of these dude's suits and use and it then for use real. use it. Well, it's about $500,000. If you want to buy it. Drop in the bucket for go. Hollywood, Drop right? I no, guess. I got, we'll have four, just in case. All right, they say the early bird gets the worm. They also get breakfast for free. So this was surprising to me, or maybe not so much, because everyone's got to get up early to beat the traffic. True. <laughs> We're one of the earliest rising cities in the southeast. That sounds a little weird, but it basically we have the most early risers. Majority of people in Nashville set their alarm before 5 a.m. So celebrating the early risers, Hardee's is giving away free breakfast tomorrow morning, 6 to 7 a.m. They're not going to open any earlier than that. They're like, Sorry. you might get up earlier, but we're going to keep our breakfast hours. Yeah. Starting 6 to 7, you can get breakfast sliders, no charge. What is this life? Yesterday we had free hot dogs. Tomorrow we get free Hardee's. I know. I mean. It's a good time. It's a good time to be alive. You got to be there, 6 to 7. Lay's has released eight new potato chip flavors, none of which I'll eat, mm. but they are really outside the box. I'll tell you. I, all right, so deep dish pizza, I'm okay with that. Giordano's, so good, right? I'll eat the pizza. I don't want to eat a potato chip that tastes Crabs? like Crabs? Oh, no. no. Hard no. Pimento cheese, That's yes. That's a maybe. Cajun spice, no. I, sure. I mean, how bad could that be? Chili con queso, queso? no. Yeah, it's just going to be like nacho chip. Fried pickles? Yep. Lobster roll, hard no. pass. No. Thai sweet chili, yeah. No. No. The, the crab and the lobster, no. No, no, no. That's, no. I, and the Thai chili, I don't think I would do either. But I don't like yeah. spicy. I don't like spicy. Here's the thing. <laughs> All of those things, I, I, it's not that I don't like them. Give me a lobster roll. I'll eat it. Put it on a potato course. chip. Of course. No. We, I, we all understand that. We get I'll that. eat it with a potato chip. If you gave me oh, Lay's potato chips lobster and a lobster roll, roll with chips on top. Done. Yes, I but like just that. just don't know. Don't I don't know why the they're flavor. doing that. You know why just, they're doing that. So we talk about it. That's what we did. So you win for yeah, the Lay. Point you for win. you, Lay's. There you go. <laughs> uh, we all have a drink. Like we, you know, it's I'm outside. always hydrating. I'm constantly, pan if I don't have water in my car. You're panicked. At all times. But tell them your, your motto. A hydrate or die. Hydrate or die. Because you actually will die if you don't hydrate. This is a true story. Drink your water. It's hot outside. It can be really tricky, though, when you're talking about your pets. Now, I did not think this was tricky. I just figured if an animal was thirsty, it would drink. They would but drink. apparently this is a problem, and someone in Japan is solving it. To get around this issue of cats maybe not hydrating enough. Now, I will tell you cats are a desert animal, Kel. <laughs> It's important to sometimes incorporate wet food so they have hydration. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm the resident cat lady. What's happening? Look at this thing. It's kitty cat ice cream. So the, I'm on board with kitty cat ice cream if you made like goat's milk. It's a good probiotic for cats. You give and your cat goat's milk. Every day, a little splash. I can't. Dry food just, in the morning. Who are you? Goat's milk splash and then wet food in the afternoon. If, <laughs> if I don't see a picture 
in the next week of you giving Cody Cat an ice cream cone, then so here's I'm gonna what's question weird about that ice cream treat. They take the food, the cat food, and add water and then freeze it. To me, that's really gross. I would never want to freeze the cat food in a thing. It's I a do. Cat. Cody's treats are little. Um, they're like popsicles, but they're not frozen, and so I, they're tuna treats. And so when I oh. open, <laughs> when I open oh, it, I bet that he comes smells over lovely. and it's like a little push up I and he just, he just licks it. You it's have so tuna sweet. treats for your cat that are frozen? Goat's milk, to, no I don't freeze them. Goat's milk. There's so much. <laughs> Wet food, dry food, and treats. <laughs>